guys, welcome to the Vertical Life Church online experience. I'm Kelly and I'm so excited to welcome you to our global community. We want to awaken and empower you in your walk with Jesus. And so we're gonna bring you some powerful worship and an awesome message. Check it out. We thank you that day and night and night and day there's worship all around your throne that we get to join in with that. Lord, we thank you so much for our story that you have stepped into our lives and changed us for the better. Lord, we want to just boast on you tonight. We want to just thank you for what you've done. We say thank you. We say thank you. Just begin to thank him with your own words. You don't need us to lead you in worship. Worship is something that we're always doing.
that the power to overcome comes from the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. So we're going to be sharing our testimony tonight. That's what we're doing. We're saying, I'm free. I'm free. And that's how we overcome. That's how other people overcome is hearing that testimony, right? So as we sing this out, let's just prophesy over our area. Let's prophesy into Holly Springs. Let's just say, get up. Get up. If he did it for me, he can do it for you, right? Come on. If his grace is good enough for me, it's good enough for you, right? Right? Anybody hearing this? Does anybody know what we're saved from? Hell, you lost another one. Let's sing it. And hell, you lost another one. I am free. I am free. I am free. And hell, you lost another one. And I am free. I am free. I am free. Yeah, hell, you lost another one.
I thank the Master. I thank the Savior. I thank God. Jesus, thank you. Thank you for what you've done. Lord, shape our hearts to look like yours, Lord. May our hearts break for what break yours, God. Lord, give us eyes to see those around us that need you. Lord, may we be your, your hands and feet to extend that to you with them, God. That they would know that it wouldn't be, that it wouldn't be a mystery around us what has happened in our lives. Hey, Lord, we just pray for no mystery around our lives, that people aren't wondering what's going on, that we would tell them. And we just pray for boldness right now to speak up. Boldness right now to speak up in your name. Thank you, Jesus. Because you're worthy, Lord. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. In Jesus' name.
hold me your own, yes. You've called me your own. No longer am I beholden to the spirit of slavery. We are sons and daughters of God Adopted into your family You've called us your own No longer a slave But a son and daughter Forever I am yours Forever I am yours
everything that's in me bless his holy name cause he's worthy Everything that's in me, bless his holy name. And everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Everything that's in me, bless his holy name. Mm.
just gave that God wants us to be able to see is exactly what two of the others of us got tonight and um, man it's so precious when God starts speaking to multiple people and it's the same thing so Father God wants to speak this word of you child in the name of my son Jesus Christ that died and paid the price for you I am not a God of the status quo I'm not a God that is satisfied with stagnation there's a reason that the rivers that we sang about last week that brought music to my ears, they came out of my temple and they came out of all the doors and all the gates and they flowed down to the ocean and they healed. In Revelation, it talks about the tree of, uh, the tree of life and it talks about the waters that flowed out of the tree of life. And that was me prophesying the spirit of Jesus Christ over you, my children that I want you to break out of stagnation, that I want you to come out of your stagnant places. I want you to come out of your personal prisons. I want you children to reach for more. In Ezekiel 47, it said that he, Jesus Christ, measured a thousand cubits and he took Ezekiel by hand and he led him into ankle deep water. And then he took him another thousand cubits and he led him into knee high water and then waist high water and then eventually to the point he had to swim and when he got in over his head Jesus said come back to the shore I'm going to show you the, the trees I'm going to show you the fruit that I'm bearing and ch children I want you to bear fruit in this season you're going to see me do the miraculous you're going to see me break out you're going to see me break out on kindred you're going to see me break out on my people and I want you to receive and I want you to cast off your burdens and I will re remove those burdens and I will remove those yokes from you now. In the name of my son, Jesus Christ, there is no name higher. Yes. Child, come out of the place of darkness. Come out of your place of stagnation and complacency. This is the day and hour because you're going to have your eyes healed tonight. This very night, you're gonna have your eyes healed. I came to heal the blind. I came to heal the deaf. I came to heal those that are stagnant in heart and in head and is stuck in a place that is just rotten. And in the name of Jesus, I am lifting you up out of that pit. 
and I'm bringing you into a place where the rivers of living water are gonna cause you to flow and it will be healing to you. It will be healing to my people. It will be healing to this nation. I'm no longer sitting idly still watching and listening. I have heard the cry of my people, says the Lord, and I am here to do a marvelous thing. And you will marvel and you will remark and you will say, this has got to be God because it can't be any man that's done this thing. And I am breaking loose. I'm bro- breaking out tonight. So in the name of Jesus, I'm just going to ask you to raise your hands and just close your eyes. And I want you to look for and picture Father God. Child, in the name of Jesus, give it to me right now. Give me that stagnant place. Give me that place that you're stuck in. Give me that place that's hard. Give it to me right now, says the Father. I am putting an anointing in your hands. I'm putting an anointing on your mind. I'm putting an anointing in your hearts. I am changing the way that you speak. I'm changing the way that you think this very night. And I'm doing it in honor of my son, Jesus Christ, that paid the price and died for you. I'm doing it because my Holy Spirit anointing is coming upon you. And you will do my works. You will obey what I say because you love me and because I love you. And we are in a place of love. So Father God, I ask you now in the name of Jesus to heal blind eyes, spiritually blind eyes, mentally blind eyes. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, you would heal, Lord, those that are lame in their walk. They're lame in their walk with you, God. They've been lame and stagnant, Father. They're sitting in the lazy chair of life. Raise them up, Father. Raise them up from the dead. Bring them out of their caskets like you did Lazarus. Arise, arise, my children. This is the season I will break forth. Our Father, all of heaven roars your name, sing louder, let this place erupt with praise, can you hear it, the sound of heaven touching you, the sound of heaven touching you.
We're gonna join and sing heaven's song, heaven's song. The angels sing, we sing holy, holy, holy. You're holy, holy, holy. You're holy, holy, holy. You're holy. Holy, holy, holy
sense it, we can feel it, we know that he's here, right? So I'm going to read this to you, if you actually would close your eyes, try to picture this, this is Revelation 4, then as I looked, I saw a door standing open in heaven, and the same voice I had heard before spoke to me like a trumpet blast, the voice said, come up here, and I will show you what must happen after this what must happen. And instantly I was in the spirit and I saw a throne in heaven and someone sitting on it. The one sitting on the throne was as brilliant as gemstones, like jasper and carnelian. And the glow of an emerald circled his throne like a rainbow. 24 thrones surrounded him and 24 elders, elders sat on them. They were all clothed in white and had gold crowns on their heads. From the throne came flashes of lightning and rumble of thunder. And in the front of the throne were seven torches with burning flames. This is the sevenfold spirit of God. In front of the throne was a shiny sea of glass, sparkling like crystal. In the center and around the throne were four living beings, each covered with eyes, front and back. The first of these living beings was like a lion, the second like an ox, the third a human face, and the fourth was like an eagle in flight. Each of these living beings had six wings, and their wings were covered all over with eyes, inside and out. Day after day, and night after night, they keep on saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, the one who always was, who is, and who is still to come. Whenever the living beings give glory and honor and thanks to the one sitting on the throne, the one who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down and worship the one sitting on the throne. 
the one who lives forever and ever. And they lay their crowns before the throne and say, you are worthy, O Lord our God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things and they exist because you created what you pleased. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna continue in this posture of worship of declaring his holiness. So I'm gonna invite the prayer team up. If you wanna come up, we'll, and if you are someone who wants prayer, then my encouragement is to come for a prayer of repentance. Declare his holiness. Make yourself clean before him. He is a God who deals in mercy, but demands holiness. He's merciful, his kindness leads us to repentance. So the prayer team will be up here and as we declare his holiness, let's recognize who he is, how far set apart he is from what we are and who we are. I just wanna to add to this. You know, we're getting ready to start a series. Today was, tonight was supposed to be episode or message one, I don't know what you call them, but it was about uh, spiritual warfare. We're going into a, se a series called Unseen Battles. And I think, you know, a lot of times we kind of ignore the reality of the unseen realm. And we'll, we'll unpack that later on in the series, but what's about to happen right now is it's nothing that was planned. In fact, to be honest with you, it's pretty inconvenient for us because we record tonight so we can show it Sunday morning. And so this kind of changes our agenda, but you need to know here at Vertical Life, our main focus is to equip and empower you to follow Jesus, and we do that by making much of Jesus and following his leadership. His leadership is perfect, not ours. Not ours. So what I believe is he wants to do tonight is, there's people in here, you need some ministry. You maybe, maybe you're in a battle. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're watching online and you're, you're in the battle and I wish you could be here with us and I believe there's no distance in the spirit and right now I pray that the Holy Spirit begins to fill your room, that there's freedom that's available for you. Whether you're in a car, whether you're on an elliptical machine watching, maybe you get slain in the spirit right there. But what Brew was saying is very important because what he's saying is that something happens when you begin to exalt Jesus above everything else. And you can always tell and see that happen in the room when, 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 the, when worship songs go from kind of me-centric to him, where the worship songs change and it's about we exalt you, you know that song, we exalt thee. Any song where you make much of him and who he is and his holiness, it shifts something in your heart and when it shifts something in your heart, it shifts something in the room. From Tom's word to what Nathaniel just shared to the impression of what's going on with the worship team tonight, there's something that the Holy Spirit wants to do in each one of our lives. And I'm not saying it's the same thing, it could be very different, but some of it has to be with spiritual battles. You're facing some things and you're blaming it on the physical when the reality there's something spiritual at play. And so we invite this worship team up here because they want to pray with you. Just because you come up doesn't mean you're in a spiritual battle. You could just want prayer. But we want you to take advantage of the people here that want to pray for you. And not only that, but we're going to lift up his name in this place. We're going to magnify who he is. Listen, vertical life can't do anything to change you. It's only Jesus. It's only his spirit. So you may be new to this. It may be a new atmosphere, a new culture, a new thing, a new focus. You're like, oh my goodness, we're still singing. But I'm telling you, something happens when you begin to make much of Jesus. And so you can come forward and receive prayer, or you can sit there and just make much of Jesus. And we'll, we'll officially come up here in a, a few minutes to kind of release you. There's, we're not gonna deliver a word tonight. We'll save it for next week. You can come and check it out, Spiritual Battles. I'll tell you what it is right now. But right now, I think there's a deep work that the Holy Spirit wants to do in some people's lives. And if that's not you, don't just sit and observe, participate, engage by praying. If you have your prayer language, pray in the Spirit. Pray scriptures over people. Pray life over people. 
while we engage in one way of spiritual warfare, which is making much of Jesus and praising him. Amen. I'm going to ask you to stand for a second so we can just kind of shake some of this off, this, this little moment. I want to ask you to prepare your heart. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Come on, every, ha every hand in this room up as a sign of surrender, as a sign of surrender. Up. Every hand up. Holy Spirit. Just say, come on, let's be. Say, Holy Spirit. Come on, move on me. Come on, guys, mean it. Holy Spirit, move on me. Yes, Holy Spirit, we thank you. You're moving this place right now. Come on, let's put your hands together as we make much of you, Jesus. Come on, let us shout, raise your voices, praise Him. Father, we worship you. We're going to make much of you, Jesus. We glorify you, Father. We thank you. Strongholds are broken right now in the name of Jesus. We speak life over every individual in this place. We thank you whether you're watching online or in the, here right now. We speak life. We declare life over you in Jesus' name. To the world who was and is and is to come. Everything bows before the Holy One. For His eyes, they burn with the flame of
every knee will bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Every eye will see the victorious King, Jesus Christ is the Lord. Sweet, sweet sound in your ear. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. You have our attention. You have our attention You have our attention So speak, come speak, come speak You have our attention You have our attention You have our attention So come speak, some speak, come speak Open our ears to hear you speak, so speak I don't want us to be spectators this evening. I don't want to just kind of change up the vein. We're in ministry time right now. And listen, if you're free, this is awesome. But I just want to sing, break every chain right now. And I just want your faith for your neighbor to just well up in your heart. How many of you believe that in an instant, Jesus can break every chain? And if you at home, 
feel bondage and feel weight on your heart right now spirit meet them where they are at as we sing this song we're going to prophesy over you that the name of jesus is above every other name that there is no power or principality everything bows before the name of jesus and as we proclaim his name every chain would fall to the ground every bondage would be broken every disease would be healed every infirmity gone in the name of jesus so come on let's sing it out let's sing it out there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus to break every chain to break every chain break every chain come on let's sing it with faith there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus
Stretch your hands forward, guys. Let's participate tonight. Link faith in agreement. Oh, send your comfort. Send your comfort. Oh, great comforter. Send your joy. Sometimes there's things that our brain says, no, there's no way that God can fix that, but he can. And he highlights things because he wants to speak into them and there's freedom. And that's a big one. <laughs> that's a big one to step forward in, but there is freedom. I just want to, I just feel like the Lord's saying there's freedom, like there's freedom for that. Like don't, like you, you feel it right now, like don't leave without getting prayer. Don't leave without calling it into the light. chains falling I hear those chains falling it's music to his ears I hear those chains falling I hear those chains falling your freedom is beautiful to Jesus. Your freedom is beautiful to Jesus. It's not just for you, it's for Him. Your freedom doesn't stop with you. Your freedom doesn't stop with you. Your freedom doesn't stop with you. It goes to your children and their children. It doesn't stop with you. Watch what one small step can do. Watch what a step of faith can do. Jesus is saying, this is music to my ears. You hear chains falling, I hear a symphony.
you see problems falling away. I see freedom bestowed on you. I see the real you coming out clearer. He's saying, I love you, I love you, I love you. He's saying, I love you, I love you, I love you. He's saying, I love you, I love you, I love you. I really do. Yes, I mean you. Jesus, we love you, we love you, we love you. Jesus, we love you, we love you. We pour it back on you. Oh, we love you, we love you, we love you. We really do. I love nights like tonight where it's just the body ministering to the body via the Holy Spirit. And I believe just right now, it's just an electric atmosphere. I really do believe that expectation is the breeding ground for miracles. And any time that God wants to do something, there will be opposition. So if there are voices in your head right now that are not something that the Father would say you need to recognize for what it is. You'll always be the same. God can't do it. It's not gonna happen. Listen, I have seen people who the doctor said, you can't have a baby. And then a year later, I held that baby. God can do it. I've seen people suffer from alcoholism for 20 years and in an instant be free and never touch it again. I've seen people on medication, and I'm not saying medication is bad, but they were on medication, and in one second, they were off. God can do it. Who has faith to believe God can do it? God still does miracles. Yeah. Listen, if you need a miracle tonight, whatever it is, do not leave without getting prayer. Do not leave without getting prayer. We're gonna add some people to the prayer team. Sarah, if you could come up and pray. If we get some other people up here. If you need a miracle tonight, please come up and get prayer because God can do it.
Come Holy Spirit, try bones awaken. The Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this place. And not for a minute was I forsaken. The Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this place. So come, Holy Spirit, from dry bones away. So this will be your official close. We're gonna stay in this atmosphere. We will stay as long as people will need prayer. Um, worship team's gonna stay up here a little bit longer. You feel free to leave. If you wanna stay here and just pray in agreement, that's awesome too. We're gonna to leave the altar open. If you need prayer for anything, anything at all, please do not leave without it. Have a blessed week, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope that today's service was an encouragement and a blessing to you, and we would love for you to share it with your friends and family. If you have any prayer requests, testimonies, or anything you'd like to share, send us an email at hello at verticallife.church or reach out to us on any of our social media platforms. We hope you guys have an awesome week. See you next time.